Welcome back to Living Local. It's a mysteries, interactive comedy mysteries, or fresh, creative, and fun entertainment for any event. And here to tell us all about it is the visionary behind the <laughs> antics, Mr. Scott Nauman, or should I say Detective <laughs> Scott Nauman. Yeah, sure. good or morning. Which, which character we're dealing with here. You have so many. But... You know, how are you, man? I'm great. You know, there's a million stories in the Naked City, and we're here to tell them all. <laughs> That's right, right man. <laughs> I, you know, let's, let's go back a little bit. Let's talk about the, 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 the founding of, of It's a Mystery and how long it's been around, and what was the inspiration behind it, man? Yeah, we just started having a conversation and thinking how cool it would be if we could go. Back then, it was the Abbey Hotel or, uh -huh. you remember, Jumer's Castle sure, Lodge. Yeah. You'd get people out of their 9 to 5 and put them into a really great immersive experience. Give yeah. them the clues and the suspense. You know, grew up watching Scooby-Doo, and it's like, hey, <laughs> yeah. if we could get in that and make yeah. that happen, it would be really, really fun. Yeah. And just, I, I met the right resources where we found somebody that was able to write a script. So these are scripted shows, and then right. my friends from Genesius Guild and other community theater groups were instrumental in yeah. coming together. I had professors from Ambrose that joined our cast. We had a dream cast, and it went like gangbusters right yeah. out of the gate. Yeah. And we've never stopped doing them since 1997. That's amazing. Original shows yeah. right here in the Quad Cities. That is amazing, man. And it takes you know a certain level of skill to pull this off. So like you said, you got the right people together because right. it's a mix of scripted, because I've seen these shows before, it's a little bit of scripted, but the, the actors also have to know how to interact with the audience and stay in that character and in that world. That's exactly right. Yeah. And, and the audience is so instrumental in this. It's the eighth character in the room. Usually yeah. we have seven yeah. suspects and that dynamic between the audience. Mm -hmm. There is no uh, stage. There's no fourth wall. So the yeah. audience members become props. They become sometimes obstacles, you know, because a lot of times there's cocktails and buckets, literally buckets of beer on these <laughs> yeah, tables. Right. So what could possibly <laughs> right, go yeah. wrong, right? But, yeah. but it's critical. And over the years, we've learned how to manage audiences. We expect them to ooh and ah and gasp. Sure. And so it's give and take. But at the end, we're trying to create not a passive viewing experience, but one that's very active yeah. and engaging for everyone concerned. And that's why it's a, I don't know that we have phenomenal actors, but sometimes it's like a person that's willing to come out and just make, make a fool of themselves and engage <laughs> sure. and commit to a character. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah. can create people who are like, I've always wanted to try that. So we're, we were born in community theater, but if we have folks that have been doing this for 20 or 25 yeah. years, which Craig Michaels, you know, the Flaherty's, Jerry Walking, yeah. um, many of the others, they have been doing it. So they're professional murder mystery actors. Yeah, yeah, point. you mentioned kind of the Mount Rushmore <laughs> performers in those four that you mentioned. Yeah, it's kind of insane. Like, what kind of work goes behind the scenes to set this kind of thing up though? So we work at Skellington Manor as our home base. We've been there since 2010 and Mike okay. and Penny Steen have this amazing facility. So it's, it's gorgeous. you know, yeah. give them for $49.95. It's gorgeous. Bridges Catering brings in a two two entree meal, but it's it's a great value. And then you got you know, super affordable yeah. beverages. We've got support staff that arrange the room. They handle all the tickets and the booking. But we really want to be one of the best entertainment values in the Quad yeah. Cities. I don't know what else you can do where you can go out and have dinner and a show and a few drinks for the kind of value that we're putting out. Well, you're breaking that fourth wall, man. I think that's the best thing about it right. is because it is a, an experience that you cannot get at another theater in town. Yeah. That's and really great. To your point, there's, it, there's in and among, um, you, you kind of know the layout of the tables. That's pretty consistent, yeah. but the, there's no blocking. So when you and I get in the room, you know, we just have to yeah. make sure that we're staying open, that we're figuring out, okay, who are the ones that are a little reluctant and who are the ones that are all in? And where sure. are the problem children in the room? <laughs> okay, watch yeah. out for so-and-so. He doesn't seem very friendly. Yeah. But our biggest compliment is folks that are not regular theater goers that get in the room and go, that, I did not want to be here and this is the best time. I, I didn't know great. what to expect. I love that. And if you have them now, they're like, I'll be back and we're bringing friends. Yeah. And luckily for our public, there are two shows coming up, man, that, yeah. that people can see. April 13th and April 19th, right? Give us the details on both of those shows because I want to make sure people don't miss that. Yeah. Saturday night, we're doing uh, Skellington's Last Resort, which is the most quintessential stereotypical murder mystery. The billionaire <laughs> patriarch, the plaything sure. of the month, the loser kids, and those... 
you know, British butler. Of course. And of so course. you've yeah. got that Saturday night, the 13th. Tickets still available for that. And then every murder mystery in the history of murder <laughs> mystery companies has an Italian mafia way. Why wouldn't so you? You have to have it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying to you. My daughter Gina's getting married on the 19th of April at Skeleton. You should come. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Everybody loves those, man. I mean, it's just a Why great not, thing. Man. Yeah. And how can our viewers learn more and get tickets? So that is important. So SkeletonManor.com is really okay. the best location. They're the ticket repository for um, all of the tickets. And it, at the last minute, people can call 563-344-9187 for tickets. Great. Um, we have a Facebook page. Uh, so just look us up. Or if you can't find it, just Google It's a Mystery or Murder Mystery Quad Cities. And we're yeah. fortunate to come up and yeah. search it. Well, I'll tell you, man, <laughs> it is a one-of-a-kind experience. It's so much fun. And bucket list for me is to be in one eventually. We have to figure this out. I know you've tried, well, and I've tried, and my schedule just, you know. So we're Saturday make it work. night, we're we'll, make it work. we'll have the Irish cabbie. That's right. Well, I'll just come you know, on in. And just walk in. You know, you're perfect. <laughs> you don't even have to change your outfit. It's going to be know. a blast. I'll come in and be like, hey, what the heck's going on here? Yeah. Well, hey, thanks, man. I really appreciate it, dude, Thank for you. coming in, man. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. Too. Thank you. For more information and tickets and upcoming shows, you can visit SkellingtonManor.com. We'll have all of those details posted at ourquadcities.com.